Sky. This seems to be pretty interesting. Uh, oh, somebody's here. Uh, this guy wants me to hand over my multi tool. Uh, what do I do? I don't think I trust them. They're just like, you know, out here in the middle of a freezing planet. Uh, okay then, uh, YOLO, I guess. Oh, improved. Well, this changes everything. Yo, that is insane. But wait, I would be sacrificing a slot though. I don't trust him, but I'm I'm gonna buy it off of him. Uh Okay, so I guess he took my other multi-tool. Oh, that was bad. Oh, it doesn't even have the Oh It doesn't even have the terrain manipulator or whatever it's called. I guess this might have been a dumb mistake. Oh, I'd sacrifice the terrain manipulator, which if you don't know what that is, I might have actually uh, covered that in the last episode, but that's how you can actually harvest uh, copper and uh, other materials. What was I thinking? Wait, ancient ruin. Now before I locate Artemis, I gotta find out what those uh, ancient ruins are. Oh. Possibly an old base. Very interesting. It does look pretty abandoned. Oh, wow. All right then, so this whole area is for, you know, gaining knowledge on uh, whatever ancient uh, civilization actually lived here. All right, then. Here we are. Here's another tower. So this is exactly what happened when I was uh, trying to contact Artemis. And there he is. All right, so Artemis has officially uh, transmitted some uh, some data over to me, and that data actually uh, is kind of a, a, a sketch of the stars above his location. So yeah. Pretty soon, once I actually uh, locate a space station, then I'll be able to um, locate where he is because somebody is gonna uh, gonna be able to give me a good idea of where uh, where he's located. And luckily, there's one nearby. So now that I'm here, I can officially uh, ask a local about you know the uh, the data that. Artemis actually uh, transmitted over to me. Oh. They didn't actually mean a space station. <sighs> they meant the Death Star. Or as they call it, the Anomaly. Alright, heading over to the Death Star. I'm going to keep on calling it because that's what it reminds me of. I'm telling you, it's always pretty awesome coming into this place. Okay, so 
Uh, I brought the news to nothing. <laughs> Nava. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Everything seemed to be pretty well. As far as I know. But, uh, yeah, um, I gotta locate Artemis in, um, in a black hole. Or a place called Atlas. I don't, I don't think I've actually shown you guys this. Because uh, this whole episode, we haven't really gone to my base. Tomorrow. It's literally a day after I recorded last, uh, well, the last couple of episodes. Yeah, this game is addicting. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I mentioned that I would actually show you guys my base. And, yeah, I'll get to that in a bit. And that'll definitely be a promise this time. <laughs> oh. Did I just hit... Yep, I hit a hazard... Uh, had a, yeah, I can't even speak. Hazardous plant. So I got everything situated when it comes to my uh, mining beam. And I made a bit of upgrades. So... You know how I actually got this this brand new multi multi tool? Well, I actually did a bit of a sacrifice because of uh, you know um, the situation that I'm at right now. But uh, yeah. So that bolt caster, I know it's a very useful weapon, but the terrain uh, manipulator, it's a bit more important. I mean, like uh, there. It's quite a bit of a, you know, shooting that you could do, uh, but that's mainly if you're in trouble. So, in my opinion, the uh, terrain manipulator is actually more important because that's how I could actually get more um, salvage data. And also, uh, you know, a whole lot more uh, resources. You remember how, um, how I got that upgrade for, uh, for my uh, mining beam? Before I wasn't able to, you know, um, to mine big resources like this, because you know, advanced things were actually needed, and now I can do it. Now this is pure ferrite, so those small rocks with the crystal sticking out, at least on this planet, those are very irrelevant. So I can mine those if I just want regular uh, ferrite dust but if I want pure ferrite then I could just go for those things all right so now I'm on my way to my base so yeah and the reason why is well one to actually show you guys the progress that I've done and two my starship is over there so, yeah, the reason why I need my starship is because there's a there's an uh, an alien life form on this planet in a particular location that'll actually show me uh, some words. And yeah, um, those words will actually help me find Artemis. Guys, this is my base. Like I said, this is actually giving me a bit of Subnautica vibes. Tell me that this does not look like it could be an upgraded version of the multi-purpose room. So I don't have anything in there yet. It's uh, currently out of power because I, uh, well, I got to get some better materials and stuff like that. But like, you know, this is actually a long hallway. I kind of like it red like this, but, uh, you know, I, and I, I, uh, yeah, I like red in general. I mean, like, <laughs> don't don't think this. Well, don't take this as you know, if I'm some kind of dark entity or something like that, or a dark person. But yeah, I think red is actually a pretty neat color. So now, time to locate this uh, this alien life form. Twenty minutes later. Well, guys, I'm not seeing it anywhere, so I'm actually gonna have to go to a, 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 a space station. So instead of just going into my starship, I'm just gonna teleport over there with my teleporter. I've already wasted a bunch of time. I'm actually going to 
find a knowledge stone, which is actually what this next quest is. And I'm going to, uh, like, you know, learn words from it. So, gotta go to my analysis, uh, or, uh, analyzer. And look for, ah, a knowledge stone. Hopefully I haven't learned from that yet. And it seems to be pretty close, so it's possible that I've learned from this one. Okay. Yeah, I learned from this one already. Ah, uh, uh, I'll have to look for another knowledge, uh, knowledge stone. I'm not going to stop until I find the right one. <laughs> Artemis needs my help, and I intend on helping him. Hopefully this will calibrate it well enough. Find a life form to ask about your location. Okay. I gotta go to my base and get my starship. Because that might be on the planet. So, yeah. I don't have any kind of vehicle other than my starship. So, I'm gonna have to uh, just head over there. Hopefully this life form will show up uh, in the starship. Now let's see if I can actually find him. There it is. Okay. Not too far. Now it's a good thing that I actually came to this planet because like, you know... Oh, wow. Hopefully I could park here. Yeah, I could. That's good. All right, then. So, I got to ask about this location because I think I saw another icon that showed another life form. Yeah. There they are. The well, icons are way too small, but uh, I finally found them. Okay, I guess I'll have to go to a state, uh, space station. Okay, guys, so it's officially like uh, 30 to 45 minutes later. Uh, I had to take care of a, a bit of business, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, right now, I actually have to pretty much go and... Uh, okay, I don't have any fuel. Uh, okay, that's a bit of a problem. That should take care of the issue. Okay, so you actually go to uh, one of these people at the at the space station that are you know behind these uh, these these um, desks to collect missions. Let's go for the phosphorus. So that seems pretty basic. So time to go back to the oasis and see if uh, if I could actually uh, head over to a uh, a, um, a phosphorus deposit. So. Yeah, this should be quite interesting. <laughs> so, by completing these missions, you actually, you know, uh, well, they call they call it standing, but the way I see it, it's a reputation, or yeah, sort of a, rep a reputation with the with, with, with the people of that uh, of that space station, or that particular kind so yeah I don't know why they actually called it standing it, it just seems to be a little bit confusing there's a lot of confusing terminology when it comes to this game all right so let's see if I can find any phosphorus I might need to go to a different planet although I know that on the planet that I actually started on uh, there was actually a, a, a deposit of, um, of phosphorus, so yeah, I might actually have to head over there. All right, so here we are. <sighs> Coming back here is going to be total deja vu. All right, uh, let's see if I could... Uh, yeah. You see, once I got onto this planet, that's when my uh, hazard prote protection actually started to fall. So this one is less inhabitable than where my base is. So, now, let me see where I could find some phosphorus. 
unknown but building. So this might actually help me out with uh, the whole quest with the uh, the whole alien language thing. I don't know if there's a knowledge stone over there, but this could be pretty helpful. And now that I'm here, and since luckily I um, I landed here, then I should take advantage of this moment and just head there. So there it is. I've never seen anything like this before. Is that might be an abandoned starship. Let me see if I could interact with this. Oh. Oh boy. There's a lot of slots. Oh my. Compare. Uh, I'm going to claim it. Forget it. Th th there's a lot of slots on here, and my current Starship actually has, wow, quite a limited amount of, uh, of slots. I mean, I think I can actually summon my current, I mean, well, my, uh, well, the little Starship I, ha I have over there, uh, but yeah, this one's mine now. I, th this is crazy. All right, so let's let's check out the cockpit. Yo, this is definitely different. Looks a little bit more like a bus. <laughs> that is awesome. So what needs to be repaired? Uh, let me see if I'm able to launch. No. Launch system recharger. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Am I at least... Yes! Okay, I can take this back to my base. That's perfect. This thing is mine! I know I came for a phosphorus, but... Whoa! Okay. Let's see if this works. Yes! Look at this baby! Forget that other uh, starship on that freezing planet. This one's mine for now. I mean, wow, unless I find a better one. But this one actually looks pretty insane. It may not be the best one. And I know that there might actually be better starships in the game. But, yo, this is an upgrade. A definite upgrade. <laughs> oh, I love this. Just look at this thing. Definitely well equipped. More in, uh, more inventory sh uh, slots. Yo, this is just golden. Straight up golden. And I know I might have actually left a bit of um, a bit of valuable items in um, in that other starship, but yeah. I'll head back there soon. <laughs> I just gotta, you know, get some things that I need for uh, for this for this huge starship. I mean, this is insane, man. It's like a stinking dinosaur or something like that. I don't know, <laughs> but this is insane. And these guys are celebrating because of this uh, this amazing claim <laughs> all right so let's see what I actually need to repair this thing and just you know uh, put it up to good shape antimatter don't have enough for that I had to check again condensed carbon now here is where you can actually you know uh, know the, uh, the the importance of gathering resources Although, um, there is... Wait. I've seen these before. Floating crystals. How random. I wonder if I could actually... I think I can mine them. 
I could. So, I want to analyze them and, uh, and see what they actually are. And if they hold anything inside, then even better. Destabilized sodium. Very interesting. Let me try mining another one of these because uh, then I can actually want, uh, I, I can actually see if there's different items because uh, uh, if you if you guys have actually played uh, Marvel's uh, contest, yeah, yeah, there's actually different items. So if you've actually played Marvel's Contest of Champions, then you'll actually know that uh, that isolate uh, crystal, uh, crystals they actually contain uh, you know different you know items or, or or even characters in this case since this is a uh, no man's sky and you're and, and you only have the only uh, character that you can be you know then you know all that these actually have are items all right so I actually have different materials so yeah whatever um, I got an excess of I could actually like put it in my storage unit which I actually forgot to Pretty much, uh, sh I'll show you guys. Um, well, once it's actually powered up, you can actually store stuff in it. And that, um, and that was actually that huge cube that you saw at my base. That that uh, that huge uh, e electronic cube. Two hours later. There's so much that I have to catch you guys up on. I mean, <laughs> this game is insane. <laughs> And addicting so yeah the reason why I'm actually <laughs> staring in this direction is because my base is uh, is, uh, is behind me and uh, let's just say I've made some improvements here we go I've been busy really busy <laughs> Because of the Beyond update, they've actually added power. And now my house is actually powered up and, uh, you know, I'm officially able to, you know, use everything efficiently. So there's lights inside. I didn't install them, but they already came with the house. But yeah, I'm officially able to, uh, to teleport to many different places. In fact, I'll get to that soon as well. This is my storage box. So, yeah. If you actually have some things that uh, that you need to store that, you know, um, or um, or like, if you actually need to free up your, uh, your inventory, then yeah, you could easily just, uh, j just uh, you know, uh, build this and, uh, It'll be like a Minecraft chest, but much, much bigger. I mean, it's insane. So, um, before I go inside, so over here, this is actually the, uh, the, the um, but uh biofuel reactor now that's kind of irrelevant i i kind of uh use that just in case if um if the if uh my house actually needs a bit of extra power but i would not recommend using it because it runs on a whole bunch of carbon and stuff like that and that just you know runs out very quickly and so you know ev everything is blue with when it comes to the electrical wiring so yeah everything's good now these are solar panels the power that these uh, panels actually generate from the Sun passes over to these batteries which I've officially filled up to the brim well before <laughs> this this house actually uses a bunch of power so uh yeah it's pretty insane so yeah build a whole bunch of batteries so that you could actually have enough power to last throughout the night and also a word of advice 
if you're actually setting up a bit of a you know a power grid is don't make your house too big because then it's actually gonna use up too much power and by that point your your uh, your whole power grid would be overloaded and so you know everything would just be shut down so yeah one bad grape spoils the whole vine <laughs> let's just put it that way yeah like I said I've been busy so this is actually a, uh, a save point I mean this game already has autosave and stuff like that but uh you know it's uh it's quite useful to have I mean like I haven't really uh, tested out uh, tested that out uh this um well you know how um in the space station there's actually this uh, this trading uh, area where you can actually buy um, buy and sell items. Well, you could easily just you know sell them in the comfort of your own home. It's uh, kind of a uh, an interplanetary Amazon, I guess. So yeah, you might remember seeing this in a space station. So. Yeah, apparently you can actually uh, build different terminals and hire different creatures so that they can actually run them for you. So this over here is the construction terminal. I built a landing pad for my starship. Speaking of ships... <laughs> You guys remember that I rescued a freighter? Yeah. I have a base on there as well. <laughs> <coughs> testing, testing, one, two. Okay, it's working. That's good. Thank you guys so much. For watching I highly appreciate it also thank you for keeping up with the channel as well if you're brand new to the channel feel free to like and subscribe because there's actually a whole lot more gameplay on the way <laughs> that I'm pretty sure will bless your life also if you would like to support me in my music career please feel free to go on Apple music Spotify Amazon Google Play music or wherever you would like to uh, well you regularly stream your music to check out my first album home it's officially released so um yeah eight streets home that's h dash streets home eight streets out see you guys next time and god bless <laughs>